What's up guys, Dave here from Knives, Gadgets, and More, and today we're going to unbox and review a knife. Let's go! Alright guys, so what we have here is the CJRB Crag, and this is the second CJRB knife that I bought because I liked the first one quite a bit. Here's the first one. This one's called the Feldspar, but this one's called the Crag, so... Let's unbox it, let's see what we get, and and we're gonna talk about it a little bit today. So, so first of all, the box looks pretty nice to me. Boxing is important when it comes to uh, marketing a product because, because it just gives you a sense of the quality that went into the actual knife itself or whatever it is. So this boxing looks cool to me, and uh, let's open it up. All right, ooh. Okay, so pretty much straight inside the box you have that and you have a bag with the knife. And there it is. So yeah, this is called the CJRB Crag. There are several different versions of this knife, but I thought this one looked really cool, so I I decided to pick it up. All right, let's take away the feldspar because it's not the star of this video. All right, guys. So. Obviously, I just got this knife. I've never carried it around and I've never used it yet, but I'm gonna give you my impressions of it and um, and then hopefully that will help you decide whether or not this is a knife that will work for you or not. So just from researching this knife, I can tell you that the steel is ARRPM9, powder steel. And that's basically a proprietary steel that's made by CJRB. And um, from all I can tell, it's pretty high quality considering the price point. There it is right there, you can see it. According to them, it does a great job at taking an edge, a fine edge. It has good edge retention, and it's also supposed to be pretty good at resisting corrosion. So, so I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a good steel for an affordable knife. And, um, and yeah, I think it's a pretty good value considering how much I paid for this knife. Now in terms of blade shape, obviously this blade is a cleaver. If you've followed my channel for any time at all, you, you know that I've had several of these, or I do have several of these small cleavers. Um, I just like them. I think it's a cool blade shape. And I usually find that uh, these cleavers perform really well at everyday carry tasks. So yeah, I have a lot of them and I keep getting them and I'll probably get more of them in the future. <laughs> because I just think they're really cool. Aside from the blade shape, the blade does have a PVD coating, which I also think is a really cool feature because a PVD coating is a, a really strong, a super strong coating. And um, not all of the crags uh, come with that coating, but this particular version did. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. PVD is a great coating, it's super strong and it should help this blade hold up and last for a really long time. Now I haven't cut anything with this knife yet, but, but just based off my first impressions, the blade is fairly sharp right out of the box. So if you go with this knife, I don't think you're gonna get a dull blade that, uh, that you'll have to sharpen before taking it out and putting it in your pocket and carrying it around for for whatever tasks you have, like cutting boxes and stuff like that. So yeah, overall, I really like the blade shape. I think the cleaver is super cool, and I think it's gonna perform really, really well. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about are the scales. Again, the Crag, there's several different versions of this knife, um, but this particular version, as you can see, has these carbon fiber scales, and they look awesome. <laughs> I just love the way they look. This whole knife, it's kinda blacked out, with that little red accent right there and it just looks super cool. And the carbon fiber grip um, also makes it look cool, I think. Um, it doesn't offer you much traction, 
But I don't think you need that on a knife like this. Again, you're not gonna be putting this knife through super heavy duty tasks. So I think it'll be just fine. Holding it here, it does feel comfortable in my hand. I can feel the clip, but it's not like digging in or anything like that. There's no jimping up here, that's okay. But yeah, everything feels pretty comfortable right here. You do have a choil right here. I don't know if that's for a finger where you could choke up. But yeah, I think it's well shaped. It feels good. No hot spots. And, um, and like I said before, it just looks really awesome. It does have the lanyard loop hole. If that's uh, if that's something you want to add to it but yeah this handle looks awesome and um, I think it feels great in your hand now the locking mechanism on this knife is a liner lock and you can see it right there it's locking out the blade to close the blade you just take this little part right here push it to the side and close it and then to deploy the blade there's no um, there's no thumb studs or anything on this knife, but you do have the flipper right here, which is what I usually prefer. And uh, let's check the deployment. Okay, super smooth, which is what I expected from CJRB. So I'm glad to report that if you like to fidget, you'll probably really like this knife <laughs> because it does deploy super smooth and uh, and that's one of the things I'm always looking for in these affordable knives. Now when the blade is deployed, we're not getting any wiggle or any movement, so that's good. Let's check how the blade aligns when it's closed. Looks pretty good, right in the center. Now the clip that you get is a deep carry clip, which is what I always like to see because it just I don't know, it helps make the knife more hidden in your pocket and and more comfortable to carry around. It sets you up for tip-up carry and it is swappable to the other side, so if you're a lefty, you're good to go. You cannot switch it for tip-down carry with this knife, but like I've said before, I don't really care if it's tip-up or tip-down. I I'm fine with both, and even though I'm right-handed, I'm glad that they give that option for the lefties to swap that clip over to the other side. Now I do want to show you what this knife looks like in the pocket. Like I said, I've never carried it in my pocket before, but we're gonna check out what it looks like in the pocket just so we can get a good idea. And there you go. Just disappears in your pocket. You can barely even see it's there. You just see the clip. Again, that's why I love these deep carry clips. And it's also fairly flat, so it's not it's not the smallest knife, but I don't think it's gonna be very bulky carrying it around. So again, I've never carried it around because I just opened up the box in this video, but I fully expect that this is gonna be a fun knife to carry around. I'm excited to get it into my rotation, and uh, I'll start carrying it later today. And if I find out something weird, like it's too bulky or something like that, I'll definitely let you know. Now, like I said before, this isn't the smallest knife. It's, it's also not the biggest knife I've ever carried around, but I do want to give you kind of an idea of the size, what you're getting when you get this knife. So let's take out my quarter, because everyone knows what size a quarter is. And let's also open up the tape measure. What's up, buddy? No, he's not up yet. Okay, I'm filming a video right now. Can you, can you let that, that finish? Okay. Alright, that was my son. <laughs> that was my son asking if my other son is ready to wake up from his nap. <laughs> Alright, back to the knife. So overall length looks to be around eight inches. And the blade, maybe three and a half inches there. So handle, maybe four and a half. So yeah, it's not a super small knife or any, by any means, but it is a good solid size. 
and I think it'll easily handle any cutting duties that you can that you can throw at it that are like the typical everyday carry things. So yeah, I think it's a good size. So overall, what are the things that I like about this knife? I really like the blade steel. I like that AR, what's it called? AR RPM9 powder steel. I think that's a really cool steel for an affordable knife. And I fully expect that it's gonna hold up really well. I love the blade shape, the cleaver on this knife. I think it's awesome. It looks super cool and I think it's going to be a great chopper and cutter. I love the handle material. Carbon fiber looks really cool. It gives it an awesome aesthetic and, and it's very comfortable in your hand. I like that it has a deep carry clip that is swappable to either side. And I love that it has a flipper and that the deployment is super easy and super smooth. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that I bought this knife. I'm excited to carry it around and use it. And um, I don't know, if you, uh, if you like the way it looks, I think, um, I think you'll be happy with the quality level. Now, if you do wanna pick up the Crag, I will leave a link in the description below. That is an affiliate link and it does help out the channel. Other than that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.